Uh, yeah, you know, me and Jordan Hill, we talked a little bit, and we went to Spider. And, uh, obviously, we asked Coach OB, and he left, loved it. So, yeah. So what what day of the week did you kind of come up with that idea? Uh, that Monday. That was or probably Sunday, and then we asked him on Monday he was right away. How, we just thought that he deserved it. How, how quickly did Spider get all those numbers on? I know his crew is pretty quick with what um, they do. <laughs> he, did it, he did it very fast. You know, I think that the next day he had, them all, he had all the numbers, and then um, – he had to wait until Friday, obviously, because we had to practice in them. And then, so, yeah, he got the helmets on Friday and then put them all on there. And Saturday we had them. When did Maui find out you guys were doing that? As soon as we walked in the locker room uh, today. So he had no what, idea. What was his reaction? He told us that he was kind of emotional, but I'm sure you were kind of keeping an eye on him. Yeah, well, I was right there with him when it happened. So, yeah, I mean, he was, he was emotional. I mean, we all got emotional. It's, you know, just uh, some, some, it means a lot to him and, and to us to be able to, to, to have that helmet, to have that number on the helmet. I mean, if there's a number that belongs on that helmet, that's that's the one. Why why is that? I, I think people know, but in your words, um, I just you know there's there have, there's not too many guys that play the game with the type of passion and mean as much as they do to the guys that they're playing with. And he's um, he's all that and more. And you know he's just a guy that not, a leader is um, an understatement for that for, for him. I mean he's. Um, he's a really good friend of mine, obviously. Yeah, very, t- very close relationship. But um, he's somebody that I, I've looked up to, and, and somebody that um, you know that has gotten me through some things, and I've gotten him through some things. And you know, he's just he's just a very good friend, and you know, it was just an honor to have his number on our helmet. Mike, do you feel like you're making the program on solid footing? And is that this class is legacy? Um. I think I think so. I think that that was our purpose here, and I think that uh, I'm, I'm I have no doubt with the way that we're the, the, the way that we we're leaving the program. I think that um, you know we left it on a great note, and you know the morale is high. The guys are the guys are loving every second of it, and you know we've got great coaches that have awesome relationships with the, with the, with the younger guys that are going to be here next year. And you know, there's a lot of talent, so I, I, I mean, yeah, it's, it's going to be tough. It's going to be hard, and, but you know as long as we keep winning, and as long as those recruits keep coming in, and and you know, um, I've, there's, I've no doubt in, in the bond between the coaches and players. So that that'll always stay the same. We just we just got to get it done. And, and I think that those guys have everything that they need to get it done. Mike, you've been through a ton of big wins over your four years here. Can, can you put a, a rank and number on on what this win meant to you personally and uh, you know, to, to the other seniors? I mean, this this goes at the top for me, obviously. I mean, there's just so many, so much emotions that go into this game. Uh, it being our last one, and, and seeing a senior day, with you walking out, you seeing your families and, and friends on, on on the 50 before you go out to play, and then you know they unveiled the 2012 banner. I mean, there's just a lot of things that go into it, and uh, it's just it just means a lot to have battled back and win, and then to see those all the smiles in the locker room after that game it means even more. To be named a captain of this team, what, what does that mean to you? Um, that's an that's an honor that, uh, that uh, I'm going to take with me forever. That's a, there's a lot of very very good people and a lot of a lot of great great guys in the locker room. So to be voted to that that spot um, it means the world to me, and uh, yeah, I, think, I can't thank them enough because they're the reason that I was the person that I am, the person that I am, and. Um, you know, I, I just wish that we had, could have more spots because there's there's certainly guys that should be that also you know the Gerald Hodge, or just, uh, Mike Farrell, you know he could go on, but those are two guys that I really wish you know could be standing next to us, and uh, just wish that there was more spots, but that's the way that's there just wasn't, and I'm just I'm just gonna say I'm honored to, to be to have that spot. What are you gonna do this week? I'm um, just just gonna enjoy our friends, man. Just uh, so the last couple of weeks together, and, and uh, we're all we're all gonna be heading off in different directions. So just gonna enjoy each other, you know. Just uh, have have a good time with, with each other. Have you thought at all about what you want to do once you graduate? Um, obviously, I would like to take a, take a shot at, at, the, at the, the league and, and see see what can happen there, and after the, and we'll see from we'll go from there. Hodges wore 42 today. Did anybody else else step up? Maybe want to wear that number? Did you guys have to draw straws? Uh, um, any, anything like that? No, you know, Gerald one? said he wanted to wear it, and we said, absolutely, go ahead. I mean, you know, he took the initiative, and that's that's, that's his that's his that's his call, and, and I think that that means a lot. I, I think that that just says a lot about Gerald. Uh, you know, because it's not like that. His number doesn't mean much to him on his last game. Uh, you know, on senior day. So for him to be that selfless and put. Uh, 
about somebody else's number on speaks volumes about him and you know, you know kind of foreshadows what this team's all about.